Okay, guys, we're getting ready for the fringe here. We got the old grips off. Here's the old ones. I'm going to save them. I don't know. I might even just sell these. And uh, the new ones are still dry, and I haven't had a chance to finish them yet. But what I did is I wanted to burn the edge a little bit. They're a little thicker, and they're about an eighth of an inch longer than the original ones. So we finished these. Well, they're not finished. They're semi-finished. And uh, meanwhile, until my leather comes in, my leather should be in tomorrow. And then I bought a wheel cutter. The wheel cutter should be in later on in the week. So I can't make the fringe until the wheel cutter comes in. So meanwhile, I come up with a great idea to, to shred paper in case if your electric shredder breaks down. As long as you have one, this is a pasta maker. You have a pasta maker, you can shred paper. This is, this is like a redneck way to shred paper if you're in a, in a jam. There you go. That's your redneck paper shredder. And guess what else I'm going to use this for? That's right, you got it. To make my fringe. So we're going to give it a try. The, um, the leather is about as thick as that paper, so it should work. So I'm cutting the four inch wide strips. I'm not feeding the rest through the machine. I mean, it turned out okay. But, um, here, let me show you guys my strips. You know, it turned out okay. But what I'm going to do with the rest of these, I'm, I'm going to cut these by hand with my new Lowe's scissors. I'm going to cut each each strip, guys, individually. And justice for me. Okay. Now, my wheel cutter, my wheel cutter, I'm not going to wait for that. You know, the wheel cutter just might, might make easy work out of this, it might not. But, you know, since I'm a nervous wreck right now, guys, I have to do stuff that's creative. It's the only thing that's going to calm me down so I can get to sleep. Alright, that's a pretty good one. There we go. Got another forward section. And basically what I'm going to do is just, you know what we'll do, we'll put a weight up here. And uh, that's it. We just go like this. Just do it by eye. Nice sharp pair of scissors. Try to keep your strips in a quarter inch consistency. That's that. Because what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put two of these on each grip. 
because I want a lot of tap. I want a lot of fringe. So we're going to have all that and all this on one side, on one grip, and then we'll do the same thing for the other side. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to show you a preview of my 40-inch. Yes, that's right. You got it. Not 36-inch. Not 20-inch fringe. Not 10-inch. Like you normally see on all your buckaroo bonsai motorcycles out there. And all the biker one and a one percenter wannabes. Okay. There is a company ran by a bunch of jag ops over in Cleveland that make 36 inch long crazy horse leather fringe grips. Okay, and in my opinion, they're a bunch of they're they're a bunch of assholes. Because I I wanted to know, you you can you can find I'm not going to name the company, but you can find their listing on eBay. They're the only ones that have this because they make these. They're eighty some dollars for a pair. Okay, I asked them, what does a pair mean, the left and right, or because what when you see the picture it shows the hand grip and a clutch lever, fringe covers. So that's what they're selling for 80 some dollars. So if you want to buy the whole, I mean, what, what good is one side? You need both sides, okay? So they're, they're by, probably about 180, 190 bucks for the set. I asked them, why, why the hell is my goddamn sound or you know what? Maybe maybe it's just maybe maybe I'm high up in a glue in here or something. I asked them when you say a pair, is it just for one side or both sides? I asked them two times. I asked them three times. The last four days, never got back to me. So, you guys, if you want to get involved, if you want to get mixed up with them, be prepared to spend almost two hundred bucks for a thirty-six inch long, which mine are longer and nicer. Fringe grips, okay? I'm going to show you a preview. I'm not done with them yet. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm not done with them yet. But they're nice, man. They're going to be the shit of 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 the, of the shit of the shit of the shit of the shit of the shit. No other biker will have these. You guys ready? All right. This is a ruler. You know what? I've got to, uh, set you guys a little farther back. This is the yardstick, guys. Mine are about three inches, maybe four inches beyond this. Set this guy down over here. Okay. Grab the other one. See, so. I dyed that dark brown, and there's a total of, there's 27 strands. Okay, there's 27 strands on each one. Believe it or not, that almost consumed 
that whole piece of lambskin I showed you guys. I have, this is what I got left. That's it. There's exactly 27 strands of fringe on each one. It's generally 36 to 40 inches long. My strand widths vary. I wanted them to vary from a quarter inch to a half inch. You know, that way there, it, it's not, it doesn't look perfect. The, the more imperfect it is, the more they'll, they'll fly around when you're going down the road. Now, um, I'm waiting for those to dry. I probably got to give them another coat, maybe another coat after that, a dye. Because I want the hand grip to be a dark brown. And as you see, the, um, the fringe, like that camel color, which is this cog cognac, cognac, or a bourbon color, you know, like a whiskey color. And then once they're dry, I got to punch the holes in them. I'll have to buy myself some suede lace and we'll put them on a bike. So I'll show you guys a finished product. Uh, I'll download this video here. This way you guys can see what I'm doing. And um, my wife's having a hard time to walk. She's kind of like having some kind of a she's going going through what she went through last year she's starting to go through it again so I may have sold the Honda Rebel I've got a guy tonight come, look, coming to look at it I'm gonna just get rid of the thing I'm not asking much for it you know because I, I don't have the time anymore guys I just I don't have the, be, between walking my huskies and doing stuff to the house here you know because we're trying to move I just I don't have the time for to try to get the Honda back on the road. I'm just I'm just basically I'm giving up on it, you know. So